A320. Hydraulic blue plus yellow system low pressure. With flight controls and normal law. Coming up. A320. Mentor Channel. Dual Hydraulic Failures. Single hydraulic failures have very little effect on the handling of the aircraft, but will cause a degradation of the landing capability to CAT-3 single. Dual hydraulic failures, however, although unlikely, are significant due to the following consequences depending on the affected hydraulic circuits. Loss of autopilot. Flight control law degradation. Landing in abnormal configuration. Extensive ECOM procedures with associated workload and task sharing considerations. Significant considerations for approach and landing. General guidelines. It is important to note that the autopilot will not be available to the crew, but both the flight director and auto thrust will remain. Additionally, depending on the affected hydraulic circuits, aircraft handling characteristics may be different due to the loss of some control surfaces. The pilot flying will maneuver with care to avoid high hydraulic demand on the remaining systems. The pilot flying will be very busy flying the aircraft and handling the communications with the flight controls and alternate law. Hydraulic green plus blue system low pressure or hydraulic green plus yellow system low pressure. A double hydraulic failure is an emergency situation with red land ASAP displayed and a mayday should be declared to ATC. A landing must be carried out as soon as possible bearing in mind, however, that the ECOM actions should be completed prior the approach. Pilot flying will then require the ECOM actions. A clear reading of status is essential to assess the aircraft status and properly sequence actions during the approach. This failure is called a complex procedure and the QRH summary should be referred to upon completion of the ECOM procedure. While there is no need to remember the following details, an understanding of the structure of the hydraulic and flight control systems would be an advantage. The flight control system display page and the operations data section of the QRH provides an overview of the flight controls affected by the loss of hydraulic systems. The briefing will concentrate on safety issues since this will be a hand-flown approach with certain handling restrictions. Use of the selected speeds on the FCU. Landing gear gravity extension. Approach configuration and flap lever position. Approach speed V approach. An early stabilized approach will be preferred. Tail strike awareness. Braking and steering considerations. Go around call out aircraft configuration, and speed. The status page requires, in each case, a landing gear gravity extension. The landing gear gravity extension procedure will be completed with reference to the QRH. In the specific event of dual hydraulic failure of the blue and yellow system due to low pressure, the remaining systems during the cruise phase will be as follows. Autopilot will be inoperative. Only yaw damper number one will be operative. The control law will remain in normal law. This is possible because the green systems backups all the flight control surfaces except the right elevator. The stabilizer will be available. Two spoilers per wing will be available. Only the left elevator will be available. The ailerons will be available. In the landing phase, the remaining systems will be as follows. The slats and flaps will be available, but slow. The landing gear event is available, must be extended by gravity to preserve green system integrity. The braking system will be normal braking only, following a yellow hydraulic system failure. The parking brake may be inoperative due to the yellow accumulator low pressure. The nose wheel steering will be inoperative. Only the reverser one will be available. During the go-around phase, the landing gear retraction will be inoperative due to the gravity extension. 
disregard FMS fuel predictions and refer to QRH fuel penalty factors ECOM alert table in order to find the applicable fuel penalty factor. A320. Mentor Channel.